in compliance with the open public meeting law, I wish to state that on March 24th, or excuse me, March 22nd, 2024, the notice of this meeting of the Upper Township Committee was posted on the official Township Bulletin Board and the Upper Township website, emailed to the Atlantic City Press, the Ocean City Sentinel Ledger, the Herald Times, and filed with the Township Clerk. Tonight's meeting is being video recorded up until the closed session portion of this meeting and will be available on the Upper Township website. I hereby direct that this announcement be made part of the minutes of this meeting. Would you please rise for the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Present. Mrs. Hayes? Here. Mr. Knappen? Present. Mr. Pankos? Here. Mayor Newman? Here. All members are present. Could I uh, have your, uh, your pleasure on the minutes? Move we approve the regular and closed session minutes from March 11, 2024. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. yes. Motion carried. Um, Okay, uh, Mark Hankus, start that in. Uh, report from Public Works. Uh, they're currently busy in Strathmere doing road signs. Uh, I see some, they ordered some uh, no parking signs to be replacing over there in Strathmere. Uh, bulk trash pickup is April 2nd, uh, and also our second or first of the year brush collection uh, that's scheduled for April will begin on April 9th. So I don't know if everybody could please have their. Uh, brush out starting this week, uh, ending on April 8th, and uh, we picked up on the 9th. That's all I have. I think uh, with a, uh, everybody with a recent storm, we'll have a little bit more out yeah. there than we normally would, so we'll go around and pick it up as, as needed. Uh, Kim. I just wanted to give a couple of thank yous for our egg hunt over the past weekend. Uh, Mother Nature did not cooperate, but it was a really great team effort to move it indoors for the first time, um, and it actually was pretty successful. The People seem to really like it. I personally liked it because it wasn't cold or wet. So, um, I just want to say thank you to Larry Cole, our rec recreation leader, um, for setting it up ahead of time and then being able to pivot the day before to be able to move it inside. Um, also from our DPW, Barbara Brund, who was there that day helping out. Cheryl Seidel, who did our face painting. Uh, Caitlin County Library, Upper, Upper Township Branch, for their attendance that day. Um, the volunteers from the Upper Township Middle School. And also, special thank you to the Seville and Memorial Fire Company Fire Police for their traffic quiet and calming. Yes, so that's about it. Was it wasn't directly traffic, traffic calming measures um, to help with parking. We weren't sure, quite sure what that was going to look like, what the crowds were going to be. And that is all I have today. I only have one thing. Um, Strathmere Fishing and Environmental Club, I talked with Randy Roach over there, and um, they are looking to do a beach plan. They want to plant some small seedling cedars on the secondary dunes, some beach plums, and some grasses. And they were looking for permission to do that. And they were also looking for a recommendation if we had a recommendation of where. So I guess I would. Can they do it? Oh, we've we had a beach planting done before by the Chattanooga uh, Improvement Association's done them in the past. The Boy Scouts have done it in the past. Other, you know, so, so I guess, guess I mean, <coughs> I'd like to see we grant them permission to do it. And I think we need to lean on Josh and our public works to see where they can recommend it. Obviously, I don't think they can do it on the new dunes. Well, Ron, I'm sorry, but I don't think they can do it on the new dunes. The DEP has not done signed it off on them. Yes, so technically, sorry, technically, you would need some type of DEP approval for those plantings. Um, but yeah, I would recommend they are, at least we propose it on the dunes that were not uh, added to during the re-nourishment project. Yes, yeah, um, um, like, like 1400 South, 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 we could probably yeah. get, go and do something down there. You know, I, mean, I, I think it's, anytime you can encourage an organization or somebody to, to do something to improve it, I think it's a win. I mean, it's a, I, I mean it, Last two years, I, I they did plant Shatner Food Association planted beach plants. They did lose a lot of those. A lot of them survived because the only the ones they lost were the dunes. But they 
I would recommend that, that what they do is they, they send an email to Gary and to Ryan and then let them figure it out from there. And okay. They can distribute the uh, uh, information as needed and make it happen. I don't think. But I don't think. Do we need to vote on it? Or? I don't think we have. Eh. I would like to uh, see what the. Uh, we have a new contact, uh, Reeves and I, and, and Ryan both have a new contact relative to some. Some, uh, some other issues that are going on the beach at this point, and so we'll just pass it upon, upon them. Um, I, I think we have a general consensus okay. of, the, of the committee that it's okay. Yeah. Liquor, uh, yep. And well, let me know as soon as possible, and then who's fought now with each other, and let know. But I'll also tell them the email you guys. Yep, we'll get on the, we'll get on the uh, horn with them tomorrow. Is that it? <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, also attended the Easter egg hunt with my kids. I like the fact that I could keep my eye on them when they're smaller and I didn't like lose them in the woods or anything, so that was a nice event. Um, I just, I don't have anything in my departments. I just wanted to share out, so Janet McBride, who's in Joanne's office, every month she sends out uh, wellness newsletters for the employees, and I think they're really great. Um, yesterday I was at a certain fast food restaurant. I went, say who. Uh, they have a one, two, three dollar menu. There wasn't a single item on that menu that was less than three dollars, which I thought was kind of weird. Uh, she sent out a healthy meals on a budget. Uh, I think that could be good information to maybe send out to the township. It's just so expensive right now to do anything. So maybe that could help everybody. I like I like your newsletter. Part of our mayor's wellness team. Yeah, we could put that on the website. We probably should put it on our township website. Perfect. And that's it. That's all I have. Thank you. I only have one thing that I want to discuss, and, and that is uh, Deputy Mayor Hayes, uh, in uh, my absence, I wasn't able to, to handle it, uh, put out a, um, you know, robocall, call, reverse novel, whatever we utilize, um, to, to, for, the, for the residents to look at the township website and take action with regard to school funding. Uh, school funding, uh, as everybody knows, is not really our purview up here. However, as the governing body, I think we do have somewhat of a responsibility to understand what, goes on, what has gone on with the school funding um, and, and to present that to, to the public. And I was talking with uh, Committee McCorson before we started the meeting, and we, even though we go over it every year, that we are just the collection agency for the schools. We are not. The, we do not fund the schools through the township government. We just collect the taxes and give it goes right to the school. And then I had a chance to speak with Ms. Uh, Mr. Costello earlier, who does multiple municipalities and multiple schools uh, throughout <coughs> the state, the southern portion of the state, as the auditor uh, and the budget maker and all that uh, other stuff. And the vast, and I, you know, I'm not trying to defend the school board, but everybody knows the vast majority of the funding that comes from out of the state out from the state is totally out of their control. Um, for example, the tuition to the high school is set by the state of New Jersey. Not for the Ocean City Board of Education, nor the Upper Township Board of Education. Um, they have some formula that they do and nobody knows what it is and and it and I guess they do and the tuition is sent. Also the state funding comes from the from the, uh, uh, from the board of, I guess the, the Department of Education was cut drastically once again this year for the fourth or fifth year in a row, I think, and it affects us tremendously. So I, I don't know if you have anything to add to that, Leon. I mean, I know it's, your area of expertise is not that particular budget, but at least how it comes from the state. No, that was very, very accurate. And again, the tuition number is a formula that's based by the state and it's calculated every year. The only thing that the two districts agree on is how many students are coming over. And it times that rate, and that's what you charge. And, and there's, there's the students are the students. When they go over there, they go over there, it's a bill that they have to pay. But th that's beside the point at, th at this point. But what I wanted everybody to know that, that's either watching it on uh, YouTube or out in the audience or follows up later or for the newspaper is that uh, go to our website. Uh, the, UpperTownship.com, and I think there's the instructions on there to uh, how to send, how to help the Upper Township Board of Education, and Upper Township in general by writing to your state legislature and making a phone call, and during the process of potentially giving us 
re reducing state aid, or excuse me, re having increase in the state aid coming to Upper Township. Um, when the governor says that they fully funded education, it's just not true. <laughs> you know, when you fully funded education, you get this much money this year and this much less the next year. It's not fully funded. What's the total offset? Is it like six million dollars over four years? Over four years. Over four years. Yeah. So to put that in perspective, that's what's our total tax levy is what seven million dollars. Right. So for our local purpose tax, your entire tax bill that comes to the township is about seven million dollars. The schools have lost almost that same amount. You really put it in perspective. The actual numbers, school tax levy. In other words, what the school taxes upper township residents to run their school was $27.5 million. Yours was $5.3 million to run this budget. They're real numbers. Right, right. So you think about if someone came to us one day and said, your budget's gone, figure it out. You know, that's kind of what the school's facing because they're losing that major portion. So whatever support the community can give to them, you know, we ask you to do that. Thank you. No, thank you. Um, Gary. Uh, it's a good point, uh, Mayor. It is also on Facebook, that issue. Yes. Okay, so they can go there, but the you know, majority of the phone calls I get are the tax rate, and then once I start breaking it down into the percentages that we did, they understand that it's not an upper township issue. It's, it's a bigger issue for the, for the, for the township. Um, so it is important. It is important to understand. It, is, it, it affects everyone in the township, but unfortunately this board here does not have the control that we want. Um, and maybe they can get it down to 1.4 cents. I don't know. <laughs> right? But uh, the, the, uh, the news from my two-week book report was based upon the quad or the triad of uh, the grants that we've been doing and marching along. So uh, we've been um, working with the clerk's office and Barbara and engineering and public works. And it's interesting when we do these Zoom meetings or in person around the tables, everybody's discipline plays into each other and we come out with a final product, which is the $1.4 million bond that is going to affect that we're doing uh, the uh, two dozen or so roads in the township. So we're just to start maybe within a week or so, or they're just gonna start mustering. You'll see, you'll see, the, uh, you'll see the, uh, the construction signs around. We're also breaking ground. Did we break ground today? Or were they supposed to start today? Yeah, we did. So the anomaly that uh, strap your pumps, the, we had already purchased them at uh, $500,000 a piece, or $300,000 a piece? Yes, a piece, and there's three of them. No, total. On just the pumps, right? It was, yeah, it was $300,000 total. So you got $600,000 in pumps plus another no, X to put them in. $300,000 in pumps, but there's an X to put them in, and then that starts today. So there was, uh, we had a very good conference with the, with the public works once again and the residents, and we came up with a very good schematic to put those, those pumps in. Uh, going back to some of the signage, you had mentioned signage, yes, there's about, uh, there was about a, a two dozen or so signs that we either replaced or um, reset in Strathmere and on the mainland. And so uh, Josh Tozer uh, worked diligently over the past uh, winter months to present a ordinance uh, on the 8th that will memorialize all the uh, stop signs and no parking signs and loading signs, make them legit. We're also going to do some, uh, some um, um, uh, uh, corrections in the court system to make uh, mandatory appearances uh, paid by mail and some, and some other corrections within the, within the code. Uh, and again, um, the stop signs on the mainland that were requested by the board will be put in and then put in the ones as well. That's, uh, that's where I'm at this week at least. I have nothing, thank you. Yeah, one thing, Mayor, um, our efforts to acquire the communications tower behind the rescue squad are finally coming to fruition. Uh, there is an ordinance for adoption tonight. Uh, but also as an update, uh, the, the bidding package went out and we're expecting bids to be returned sometime in May. I'm sorry, sometime in April for to be effective in May. So we're looking at maybe a May 1st closing. And at that point, um, the tower will be owned by the township and all the revenue derived from that will go to the township as well. And that's it, Mayor. Thank you. Barbara? Ryan. I have a few things to touch on. A uh, big one, as Gary mentioned, was the paving program. 
Um, so we had that scope finalized under the, our last meeting, and essentially we're waiting for uh, performance bond documents. Uh, they're currently under review, and I would say within a week or two, we should be ready to uh, proceed with signing the contract with Payton Plus and scheduling a pre-construction meeting to start that roadway work. Um, the next one up, so again, as Gary mentioned, the stormwater pump project. Uh, so I held a pre-con meeting with J.F. Kiley uh, this, uh, the 21st, and construction started today at Putnam. Um, so they're going to be starting at Putnam Avenue Street End, proceeding on to Sumner, and then finishing up with Webster Street End. And still pushing them uh, to complete that work before Memorial Day holiday. Next one is Living Shoreline, uh, which is being uh, designed by ACT Engineers. They finalized the DEP application um, and essentially asked for assistance from the township to obtain uh, some additional signatures from some of the owners uh, along this wetland area. So once we obtain those signatures on behalf of ACT Engineers, they can submit the application to DEP. One, let me just uh, put a little uh, caveat up to that one. Uh, Mayor and Curtis, I sent that to both of you. That is one block. So it's not spread out all over Strathmere. So if you look at that email that I sent, that is one, uh, one block, four properties, and it looks like they're all somehow intertwined. So if we can find one of the owners within that four, then we can get those final uh, documents. We went through this on the beach replenishment years ago, on the first one. And this property is either gone, just washed away, or underwater in the high top. State repair invites probably say it's eminent domain can take place and the state actually owns it. Dan Young successfully made that argument and it took yeah, years. Probably 75% of the easements we had to require and signatures like this on our first initial beach replenishment. So I don't know if we can dig into that file and if that would be operable. In this, I, I saw I saw the list uh, yeah. of, of names. Okay, okay. and, and did, did uh, I, I don't want to mention them here because it could be wrong. But we'll, we'll get with you and try to figure that out at, from there. We're close. Yeah. yeah. So, so that that being said, that the the um, is there some sort of form letter that yeah. we can have together that, yeah, that if we yeah. are able to do that. Um, ahead of time so if we're able to find these people and they're willing to sign it we just get it done yeah, for my review it looks like one family yeah. and there is a there is a standard form that needs the uh, that needs the signature yes so that's the so. yep and again this is the area that's wetland area that's regulated anyway so they can't do any types of improvements in this area so hopefully it's they come to an understanding that this essentially is an unusable area of the property anyway, and the best use of it is to protect that shoreline. Um, one property is tied into the library. What's, What's that? that? One property is tied into the library. Oh, well, I can get that signature. And, and, then, and then if you get that one, then the three will follow. Okay. Well, I, I, I know who I got called. Got Are you thinking? Uh, well, I'm saying because of the nature of it, a lot of that property is gone. And I'm saying we could probably use the same argument we use for beach replenishment. Okay. And I took 75% of the units. It sounds like that process would probably take a lot longer than getting the same. So maybe we could both we'll get the same. No, it actually took no time, if I remember right. We were still looking for signatures. Yeah, I said, so one of the things is, as is, is you mentioned what you mentioned, I, I think we, it can be resolved. It can be done quickly. And, and they need that to submit. Okay. And then that'll close up that grant. Okay. And then the last uh, couple projects to touch on, uh, as Gary mentioned, we're working on uh, resubmission to county open space for both skate park improvements as well as BZ Point Park Phase 2. Um, I am anticipating resubmissions by the end of April uh, with the help of Triad. So we just have to put together some concept plans, uh, some additional application forms, and uh, complete those resubmissions for both those separate park grant open space areas. And that's all I have for today. Thank, Thank you very much. much. We have the 2024 budget. Uh, number one, public hearing and final adoption of ordinance number two, 2024.
calendar year 2024 ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and to establish a cap bank. Oh, uh, Ron, you want to? Yeah, just real quick. Um, we're not exceeding anything. Our part of it is establishing a bank. We're 537000 less than what we're allowed to spend. So this is a formality to find that for future if we have any. And it's done on an annual basis, maybe every year, and go from there. So, uh, without any further ado, I'll, I'd like to um, open, open it up for uh, a public hearing for ordinance number two of 2024. This is just talking about the cap bank. Okay, just about the cap bank. Anybody from the public would like to make a comment? Hearing none. I'll close the public portion of that and entertain a motion to adopt ordinance number two of 2024. I make a motion we adopt ordinance number two of 2024. Second. Should you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. yes. Motion carried. We have two authorizing the reading of the 2024 annual municipal, municipal budget by title only. I'll make a motion that we. Uh, Adopt number two that we approve number two. Second. Could you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. yes. Motion carried. Three 2024 pu budget public hearing. Okay. okay, before I open it up to the public, I would like to turn it over to uh, uh, Mr. Costello. Who, if any comments other than the, the budget you have before you tonight is the same one we introduced. We've made no changes to it. Um, it's still the 1.4 cent tax increase. Uh, you, like we just mentioned, <clears throat> you're well under the spending cap, you're even further under the levy. You could raise more taxes if you want to, but that's not the desire. The, um, your rateables increased slightly, which is a good thing from last year. Uh, revenues are no one-timers, there's no gimmicks in this. The fact that you're not changing this budget is also a good sign because sometimes Towns like to introduce a budget and say we're going to work on it and get it down some. We always put out what we plan on adopting and where we go. So there's no changes that are being proposed unless somebody has one tonight. Tonight what we need to do is open to the public for comments. If the public's not commenting, you can amend it if you uh, desire to amend it, or you can adopt it as is. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before I open up to the public, I'd also like to anybody from the uh, governing body, would like to say anything about the budget? Here, Mark, Curtis. I'd just like to say it's a good, solid budget. Um, paying down our debt service, allowing for future, and I'd like to thank everyone for the time that was put into it. Kim? Yeah, I, I think this is a solid budget. Um, I think everyone is, especially our department heads, have really looked at it and made sure that it was, you know, as lean as it could be without um, putting us in a situation where we, we would be too lean at the end of the year. Um, I think a lot of what work that we've done over the last few years to pay down debt service, build the surplus, you know, our rateables are up, all of that is helping us to create some stability so we don't have big fluctuations where we have zeros and fifteens. You know, we're, we're looking at small, stable increases, which is, which is great. Yes. Um, and before I open up the public, I'd just like to say a couple things about the budget. And we talked about it before, and the word of the day was stable. Uh, I want to thank our professionals uh, from Barbara, Ryan, Barbara, Leon, Gary, Joanne, Tony, not to leave anybody out, but they're the ones that put this together. Gary especially starts at the beginning, you know, months ago, before the year starts, getting departments together. Department has put together good, solid budgets. It's also negotiated multiple, uh, not negotiated, but set up a salary schedule, a salary matrix uh, that stabilizes our salaries throughout Township Hall, which keeps everybody uh, in line with where they should be. Uh, and, and that matrix, you know, developed by Gary and put, put through to everybody has really, really helped it out. Along with that, we have in this budget, and I, our, for those of you who don't know, our legal bills are, are down pretty much. They're, they're down a lot uh, from prior. And I hate to keep throwing it on Gary, but that's because he's making decisions at Town Hall, and the Town Hall 
uh, and, uh, and the departments are run efficiently as long as we go through him. And he's making decisions that are that are keeping our legal bills. Uh, and 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 I also want to add that to the clerk's office does the same thing. They do a great job. It saves us a lot of money um, by not having to go through legal, which is I think Tony would uh, back that up 100%. Even though it's Absolutely. less money in your pocket, it's it's, it's, it's good. No, I, uh, yes, yes. Yes. I, give, I give credit to the staff, but they, they do a phenomenal job. Also included in this in this budget is a large number of shared services agreements. Uh, I just wrote down a couple of them, but people don't realize how many shared services agreements we have until we go over them and sit there and go, wow, okay, we have a lot of shared service agreements, which saves us money and also the, 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 the service that we are sharing. And one of them that I was talking to my colleagues earlier about, uh, Ocean City Dispatch. We've also been sharing court system with Dennis Township for years. Um, Corbin City Public Works, that's a new one. So that brings in money to the township uh, without utilizing utilizing our current public works. They are very, very happy with that. Ocean City EMS, Ocean City EMS goes into Strathmere because it just makes sense. On the reverse, Corbin City EMS, upper EMS goes into Corbin City. Uh, our tax assessor, our tax assessor is on a shared service, okay? <laughs> it just saved us a lot of money. Um, our beach patrol has has started uh, emerging and, and utilizing Ocean City Beach Patrol. Why? Because they're right there. And they, they started training together along with Strathmere Fire. Uh, our Upper Township Fire and EMS, uh, which I'll, as anybody in, in Fire and EMS services knows, we're now acting as one unit instead of four or five different units, and it's working out tremendously. Um, we have contracts, we have grants. Uh, we had, I think we listed some, at one point uh, 20 grants in the township. Uh, most, some of them we haven't, we've applied for but haven't received. Some we've already, we've already been awarded and they've been put into use. And some of them we're still working on putting applications in. One of that was the county open space. State park and Beasley Point Park phase two. This is all stuff coming from the county. Granted money from the county that's coming to Upper Township that is managed by Upper Township and we'll be able to put that to good use without um, putting, putting the onus on the taxpayers of Upper Township. This is, this is what goes on on a, a daily basis. The Strathmere Stormwater Project, I think we got grants on that, didn't we? Some of the did we? COVID money. COVID money. Uh, it's still a grant. You still have to apply for it and you got it. The Living Shoreline. The Living Shoreline, what's an interesting thing is here, and this is, I hate to belabor it, but it needs to be belabored. You talk about ACT Engineering. We had to hire ACT Engineering to do a study about the Living Shoreline before we could apply for the grant to get the Living Shoreline done for free. So we had to spend some money. And that particular contract, uh, we held them to, yeah. And just so everybody knows, Stratford Fishing Environment Club is just very much partnered with us in this thing. And they had a, a congressional promise mm -hmm. through the funding of $1.5 million for the construction, which is huge. Yeah. But we can't even touch that unless we put it out there. So, and the Strathmere Fishing Environmental Club, that's another great example of a public private partnership that goes on all the time, that goes on behind the scenes. That's a lot of money, folks, that, that we're getting good stuff. We have a paving program, $1.3 million paving program that's going on now. It's being managed by our, our engineer. Our engineering costs are down uh, from prior years. It, um, our surplus is up to where it should be. Our, bond, our, our grants are there. Our, our bond and debt, our, we're paying our bond debt down. And we got, you know, we have, like I said, $1.3 million coming out. And this is all due to teamwork in the township hall, teamwork with our professionals that work outside of Township Hall, it all comes together. There's, there's balls juggle up and down, and, and it, they do a great job, and I think that is a really good uh, summary of what goes on in, in Upper Township and how, how it works out and how we do. Uh, and I'm proud of it, and I, I, the public should be proud too. Nobody likes paying taxes, but we got pretty good here. We got pretty good here. It's a great place to live, work, and raise a family. Bring it on. So uh, now I'll open it up to the public. After that, 
What else can you say? I'll open up to the public. Anybody want to comment on the 2024 budget? Well, in that case, I'll close the public portion of it and entertain a motion to adopt the 2024 budget. Move we adopt the 2024 budget. Second. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. Motion carried. If I could just read something into the record. Be it resolved by the Township Committee of the Township of Upper County of Cape May that the budget here and before set forth is hereby adopted and sh shall constitute an appropriation for the purposes stated of the sums therein, set forth as appropriation and authorization of the amount of $5,618,158.06 for municipal purposes. Uh, now, you want to explain what that is? That's your tax levy. Okay. <laughs> Very good. And then we have the local unit budget examination. Yes. Okay, we need to have a motion for that? Yes. Yes. Do you uh, send uh, me a motion? Motion for a local unit budget examination. Second. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. yes. Motion carried. All yeah. Yeah. Do you have another meeting here tonight? Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, great work with you. Success. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, next we have the consent agenda. All consent agenda items listed below are routine in nature and will be enacted by one motion. If the mayor or any committee member wishes a particular agenda item to be considered separately, it will be removed from the consent agenda and acted on separately. Motion we approve the consent agenda, items number five through nineteen. Second. Would you call the roll, please. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. yes. Motion carried. Under ordinances, we have Public hearing and final adoption of ordinance number three, 2024, an ordinance vacating Valley Avenue within the Township of Upper County of Cape May and State of New Jersey. Okay, uh, this is a standard uh, street vacation, correct? Correct. Yes, sir. Anything to add to it, Joanne or Tony? No, we do. This is um, recommended by the Planning Board. We went to the planning board for review, and, and uh, it's you know an area that's un, not utilized. I think the question was raised last time as to whether it would be merged in with the other properties. I mean, there's no deed of consolidation necessary with the street vacation that automatically becomes part of the adjoining properties. So everything's fine with this. Okay. Um, now I'll open it up to the public. Anybody from the public want to comment on ordinance number three of 2024? Hearing none, we'll close the public portion and entertain a motion for adoption. Move we adopt ordinance number three of 2024. I'll second that. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. Motion carried. Uh, public hearing and final adoption of ordinance number four, 2024, an ordinance adding chapter 10, section two, lead based paint inspection in residential dwellings to the Code of Upper Township. Gary, anything to add, Gary? No, sir. I think this is uh, another one of those ordinances or one of those things that we got a grant for to implement this. Uh, yes, so this was the, and again, we're working on with the state at this point to see if we can use some of the money given for a program that we need. So uh, yes. we had it was it's a positive response, but it wasn't definitive. So we are we are waiting for for the uh, the final answer. So we are uh, we are moving along <coughs> with that particular requirement of the state. Okay. okay. Um, this is for rental, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, it says lead based state, state inspection to residential dwellings. It's a state mandate. Yeah, it's a state mandate. Yeah. Uh, anybody from the public like to comment on ordinance number four of 2024? Hearing none, I'll close the public portion. Entertain a motion for adoption. Move we adopt ordinance number four of 2024. Second. 
Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. Motion carried. 22, public hearing and final adoption of ordinance number 5, 2024, an ordinance authorizing the Township of Upper to acquire the tower on property known as Block 477, Lot 6, on the official tax map of the Township of Upper. Mr. Monzo. Thank you, Mayor. This is, as I explained earlier, it's, this is an ordinance that will authorize the acquisition of the communications tower uh, after a year long of negotiations and trying to get to the right party in interest. We were finally able to, to determine that T-Mobile actually owns the communications tower and they were willing to enter into negotiations. So um, there's basically no cost other than just a concession on some of the rent during the first five years of any lease term that they may have for space on the tower. And there are two other carriers as well. So um, that will be paying the full amount of, of, of rent. And, and according to this agreement, T-Mobile will get a $1,000 per month credit for the first 60 months. So the basic cost without doing a present value calculation is $60,000 compared to um, we have estimates of between two and three hundred thousand dollars for the construction of a new tower, including all the engineering and, and all the other fees associated with that. So it just, just makes a whole lot of sense. Yes. Sorry there. Yep. Now we'll leave it. <coughs> okay, anybody for no, any other questions from the members of the governing body? Would that be good? Everybody good? All right. Uh, open to open up to the public. Uh, ordinance number five. 2024, anybody have any public comment? Basically, the township's buying a tower that's already there that is already on our land. So, okay. So we can generate revenue. More revenue generation. Um, so close the public portion and accept the motion for ordinance number five. I'll make a motion we adopt ordinance number five of 2024. Second. Just call the roll, please. Mr. Corson? Yes. <clears throat> Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. yes. Motion carried. 23, introduction and first reading of ordinance number 6, 2024, an ordinance amending revised general ordinance chapter 20, zoning of the Code of Upper Township. And if uh, we could have a public hearing for April 22nd. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, yeah, this is basically a cleanup <coughs> ordinance. Uh, just in going through the zoning uh, code, Hotels and motels are permitted uses in certain zones, but they're not really defined anywhere. So this basically just adds a definition as to what constitutes a hotel motel for purposes of zoning. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'll uh, make a, what, what's, what's it going to be? April 22nd. April 22nd? April 22nd? We will adopt ordinance number 6 of 2024 with a public hearing and final adoption on April 22nd. Second. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. yes. Motion carried. Under new business, we have the bid results for towing, storage, and lockout services. And there's not. There are no bids. <laughs> <laughs> um, should, uh, I think we should put that probably out again and contact. Uh, is there any way we can get around? I talked with Joanne about this a little bit. I think there is a... Uh, uh, let's say get around, but a, a, a bond or something that they're supposed to post uh, that actually costs them to bid on this. So we have very little call for it, but if we do, we might need a, a, a tow. We have to have a towing contractor. Uh, if, result, if we have motor vehicle accidents, uh, our the state police have a, a rotation they call. But if we have a parking issue or vehicle that be, needs to be removed by the zoning officer or something along those lines, we have to we have to call this contractor. We could take a look. I, I think it's a requirement for the bond, but if, it, if there's some way to to minimize the bond. Do you think the issue we're running into is costing them more to bond than they ever make on calls? Because we haven't called anybody. Because you don't really need it, but you have to have it. It's, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, we're running into it with the same thing with Payton Plus, right? So, with, so the bond was a pass-through bond. They post it and we wind up paying it. Um, but if there's some sort of nomenclature in the language, Tony, that. Uh, well, if it's already been out to bid and no one responded, are we able to just negotiate? We have to go through it two times. We have to do it twice. Okay. But I don't know if that alleviates the requirement for insurance bond. Yeah, but again, as you point out, as part of the negotiation, the cost can just be a pass through. Um, right. 
So I, I think through negotiation, I think have some success, but it has to go out twice before you can do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that out again, and um, then we'll get no results again. Make it a short turnaround, and um, that way we can get it done. Maybe next new year meeting behind. Just, just to give you know, there was a requirement um, that we have to have it advertised for a certain amount of time, so we will not be able to have it uh, for the next meeting. Okay. 25, we have the donation of a beach wheelchair, wheelchair from the DeSatnik Foundation. <clears throat> yeah, Mayor, I don't know if you spoke to Mr. Hanley or not, but he said that yes. one was broken last year or so. Yes, yes. So, so I'll, I'll make a motion that we accept this donation. Second. I think we, uh, have we sent a nice thank you letter? Once we accept it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we don't have any. Uh, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. Motion carried. Uh, your pleasure on the bills. I hereby move that all claims submitted for payment at this meeting be approved and then incorporated in full in the minutes of this meeting. Second. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, now time for public comment. Anybody from the public would like to speak to the Township Committee? Um, please make yourself known. Okay, hearing and seeing none, I will close the public portion and entertain a motion to go into closed session. Committeeman Pankos. I hereby move that a resolution be incorporated into the minutes authorizing the Township Committee to enter into an executive session for the following matters pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act. Number one, personnel. Number two, contract negotiation, Lewis A. Bernardo Appraisal Services. Three, contract negotiation, Deacon Animal Rescue. Four, contract negotiation, CME Engineering Services. Five, contract negotiation, MUA Host Community Benefit Agreement. Six, litigation, Henry versus Township Rucker. I also include my motion, the estimated time and the circumstances under which the discussion conducted in closed session can be disclosed to the public as follows. A, it is anticipated that the matters discussed in closed session may be disclosed to the public upon determination of the Township Committee that the public interest will no longer be served by such confidentiality. B, with respect to employment and personnel matters, <coughs> such discussion will be made public if and when formal action is taken or when the individuals involved consent that it can be made public. C, with respect to contract negotiations, such matters will be made public when negotiations have ceased and there is no longer a reason for confidentiality. D, with respect to litigation matters, such discussion will be made public when litigation is complete and the applicable appeal period has expired. Second. Uh, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Corson? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Knappen? Yes. Mr. Pankos? Yes. Mayor Newman? Yes. yes. Motion carried. Okay, we'll take a <coughs> two-part <five minutes. laughs>